What's up everyone, Eli here, back for another uh, tape collection video. Uh, ten tapes as always, mostly black metal, so uh, black metal fanatics, let's do this. Alright. We're gonna start with this pretty obscure uh, tape, I've never really seen anyone talk about this, I don't even remember where I got it, but uh, it's a band out of Finland called Conjuration. Um, this came out in uh, 2004 on Slobber Productions. So Conjuration, uh, Conjuration started in 2003, um, and this was limited to 366 copies. What it sounds like is, I guess you'd call it a, a, a black heavy metal band. Um, think maybe a less tight midnight. So like uh, kind of a black metal band uh, trying to play Merciful Fate, but just uh, without the chops. Um, it is enjoyable, I will admit. So if you're a Midnight fan, and I love Midnight, um, if you're, yeah, if you're a Midnight fan, I think you might really dig this. Uh, I know it, I don't think it's, um, I think it's pretty cheap on Discogs, if I remember correctly. Um, it is obscure, but I don't think it's <laughs> by any means in high demand. But uh, yeah, Conjuration Demo 1. I can't remember if they have any other material, but uh, do check it out. It is on YouTube, I think, the full demo. And next, we got a couple of tapes from Portugal's Crypta Occulta. This band started in 2004. They've been going strong ever since. Honestly, one of my favorite black metal bands that I've discovered in recent years. I have seen people say that they are kind of pushing the, the NSBM side. Um, I don't know. I, I You know, their lyrics in Portuguese. I've never really gotten that impression. Um, I mean, they do use some, like, some pagan symbolism. Um, they definitely have put out records on, uh, let's just, I don't know, questionable record labels, but I've never really got any strong NSBM vibes. Just my take, you know, maybe I'm completely fucking wrong, but I really, really dig their music, man. Um, like I said, they are from Portugal. They play like a pagan black metal. I've talked about them here before. They play some of the more interesting and unique sounding pagan black metal, honestly, I've ever heard. They're not like by any means not a typical sounding pagan black metal band they're not you know they're not piling on the you know folk type instruments they're not very folky though they do have a little bit of that in their music not a lot i mean they're mostly straight raw black metal um i just think they're really really good songwriters i mean this is just a damn near black metal perfection is all the is is the way i can really sum it up i guess and i'm just gonna stop there but i have uh, I have this, um, I believe this is a full length from 2010. I'm not going to pronounce it because it is in Portuguese, Portuguese again, and I'm not going to be able to pronounce it accurately. So so this came out on uh, Sabbath Fire Records and Titan Wood Productions, uh, limited to 500 copies. So you are going to see some imagery in here that, uh, that might be a little bit triggering. Um, I don't know, you have to keep, stuff like this, you have to keep in mind context. Yeah, most bands that use this kind of symbolism are definitely pushing the NSBM direction, but not always. That's not always the case. So you're going to see some sun wheels here. Um, I understand if that's something that offends you. But like I said, again, I don't know if that is the intention here or or not. Um, I don't know. Let me know if, <laughs> if, uh, if Crypto Occulta are just a straight NSBM band. Feel free to feel free to rant at me. I know that they have. Don't get me wrong. I mean, like I said, they put out some stuff on less than reputable labels. Um, you know, they, they've done splits with NSBM bands. Yeah, I'm, I, you know, I'm not trying to make any excuses here, I, but I do like the band. Um, I have these two releases. The next one I have is their. Um, shit, when the fuck did this one come out? Only other thing I have from them. This came out on AFM or AMF Productions, which is definitely largely an NSBM label. <clears throat> so I, I know a guy who's actually friends with the band. He has told me specifically they aren't NSBM, but anyways. It's 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 a sensitive topic for a lot of people and I, I totally get that. Um, I personally <laughs> I, I do not actively seek to add more NSBM type shit to my collection these days. It is kind of something that I, I've definitely veered away from. I still have 
you know, certain releases in my collection from years and years and years ago, back before, you know, back before it uh, really became controversial. Um, and uh, I totally get why somebody would want to avoid it. Like I said, I, I mostly do. Um, I'm not, I, I'm, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not real political and I do think there's a lot to be said about art being art. I do not wish to censor anybody's art, but uh, that doesn't mean I have to uh, take a part in it, right? Anyways, moving on, we got a band from the U.S. here that a lot of you guys will be familiar with for certain reasons. Whether you've heard the band or not, um, we're talking about Crucified Mortals. Death Thrash Band from the Cleveland, Ohio area, Rehearse Hell. This is a, um, I believe it's a live recording. I thought it was a live album. Maybe it's just a rehearsal. Um, either way, this is one of their earlier releases. Uh, this came out in 2006 on Fistbang Records, uh, limited to 500 copies. Um, Crucified Mortal started in 2001 by a guy you might know as Reaper. Um, Reaper is um, one of the brothers of uh, he's the younger brother of the three brothers that own Hell's Head Bangers Records. Uh, I think he's a really good guy. I've talked to him numerous times online over the years. Um, you know, he runs his own record label called Reaper Metal. I think it's called Reaper Metal Productions. He does other stuff too. He's you know high, heavily involved in the uh, in the underground. He seems like a really really good dude. Um, I actually wish I had more Crucified Mortals. I think their last like two albums have actually been really really good. He started this band when he was like 14 or 15, I think. So he's still pretty young at the time that this came out. But uh, yeah, Crucified Mortals. And then the next three tapes I have are from a band called Crucifixion Wounds out of Germany. Uh, they are a black metal band. I, I think you could definitely say black death metal. There's definitely some death metal elements in there. Really, really raw, nasty, um, riff-driven, you know, black death metal. Um, I hear maybe a little bit of blasphemy, not a lot, just a tiny bit. I, I definitely hear more Profanatica, maybe a little bit of Grand Belial's Key, uh, but it's good, man. There's, the, you know, the black metal spirit is just here in full force. Uh, it's just nasty. Um, <laughs> the riffs are really good. I, I don't know. They're short demos. I like the songs. I think you're, this is a cool band. Starting off with Crumbling the Heavenly Kingdom is what we're going to start with. This is their debut demo from 2002. The band, by the way, started also in 2002, so clearly they did not wait long to start working on shit. This is self-titled. Handmade, basically handmade, and then Xeroxed J-Card. Um, Hand-numbered, all that stuff. Really good. Look into it. They're all short ass demos and, and they're they're a lot of fun. Then you have the second demo from 2004, The Hammer of Purification. Uh, also a self-release demo, very short. These are all on YouTube, by the way, which is cool. You can find these on YouTube. You can listen to them in their entirety. Let me know what you think. Um, I think I even have copies of this for sale. I think I have copies of all these demos, actually, if you would like one. Another handmade Xeroxed, but well done, J-Card. Black Desecrating Metal of Death. That should tell you a lot right there of what to expect. Then we have the EP from 2009. The last thing I have from them, uh, Profanation of the Crucified. This came out on Death Command Productions. This is actually a, the most pro thing I have from them up to this point. This is uh, not self-released, and it's a, actually, you know, nice, glossy, simple but glossy uh, J-card. So yeah, look into Crucifixion Wounds if you like nasty, nasty, primitive, raw black death metal. I think this might scratch the itch. Then I have from Portugal, uh, Crystalline Darkness with Melan Melancholica Nostalgia. So this band formed in 2006. This is uh, from 2008, their first demo um, released on Antihumanism and uh, Heritage Warfare Productions. 
Uh, I like this demo quite a bit. Uh, I think it's limited to 500 copies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, so this is... I'm a big fan of um, like depressive type black metal, and this really, this really, again scratches that itch when I when I want to hear stuff like that. Um, but it's unique. It kind of, I kind of want to put it in the in, you know in the depressive black metal camp, but it also kind of reminds me of stuff like Celestia. Um, it has that real melancholic, desperate, melodic sound that I really, really dig. I'm a big Celestia fan, so when I listen to this, it reminds me of that and in a very, very good way. So um, I know Portuguese black metal has kind of, you know, uh, been in the hot seat for a while now, but I don't see people talking about Crystalline Darkness. So again, I've said this in, in other videos, um, you know, you, you spend all your time listening to... Um, yeah, I can't remember the name. There's <laughs> of any of them. There are like three or four Portuguese black metal bands that are really popular right now. But you dig a little further and check out stuff like Crystalline Darkness, because um, I think you'll be I think you'll be pleased. So yeah, Crystalline Darkness. I also have a split that they did with another band. Um, but I haven't listened to it as much. But this demo kills. To end this video, I got a couple tapes from Cultus from the Netherlands. Really, really dig Cultus. Um, Cultus is a solo black metal project of a guy named Arden, or no, sorry, Arjun. Um, he runs a label uh, that you might know about called Haydn's Heart Records. Pretty, pretty good, pretty damn good uh, label out of the Netherlands, so I don't say so myself. Um, so as I said in the be beginning of this video, um, I don't know, there's some Im imagery here that I'm you know, maybe not super comfortable with showing here on YouTube, but uh, this is the debut demo uh, from 2001. Um, and this is actually, I believe this is the second version of the, de of the demo from 2001. So I think this one came out in 2002, uh, but the band started in 98. So this is just literally handmade J card. Yeah, really good stuff, man. If you like, uh, like one riff per song type droning, repetitive black metal, uh, sort of early Burzumish, uh, Coldus are, are great. Definitely check them out. Um, I don't know if they fall under the NSBM category. Just going off this demo, I think they might have been, at least in the earlier part. I don't get that vibe nearly as much from the later stuff. Such as this 2007 promo that I also have. This is some. This is actually some of my favorite cultist stuff right here. Um, this came out in 2007 on Haydn's Heart Records, and this is yeah, this is great, man. This is fantastic stuff. Again, like I said, just repetitive, hypnotic, one maybe two riffs per song. You know, droning black metal, raw, just the way I like it. Despite it just being a, you know, uh, six song promo. Yeah, it's got six songs. It's decent length, actually. It's it's really good. This is potentially my favorite stuff from the band, which I, I find odd because I actually have a full length also that I'll show in the next tape video. But yeah, man, this stuff just just again, I'm gonna use the the, the played out term scratches that itch for the droning, repetitive, you know, just genuine black metal. I, I really, really, really dig this promo. So check it out. That's all I got, guys. Ten tapes, short and sweet, it looks like. Um, I'll be back in a couple days for a new stuff video showing all the DVDs. I've yet again picked up a nice, maybe a little too large stack of horror movies and even a couple other odds and ends that I'll be showing. So, as always, thanks for stopping by. Louis says hello, as you can see him uh, facing the other direction of the camera this whole time. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Um, we'll talk soon, huh? Cheers.